After launching its revamped anti-drug program under the Marcos administration, the Interior Department has changed its tune regarding its operations and arrests. The DILG said that while rehabilitation will be a focus of the administration, anti-drug operations and arrests of drug offenders will quote, continue with the same fervor. Camila Sabonte with the big story. Intensifying drug war but taking into consideration human rights. This was the stand of the Marcus administration, according to Interior Secretary Benhur Abalos. The DILG on Saturday launched its revamp anti-drug campaign called Buhay Ingatan, Droga Ayawan or Bida. But while there will be changes to the program, the DILG said that anti-illegal drug operations and arrest of drug offenders will, quote, continue with the same fervor. Under the revamp anti-drug campaign, a whole nation approach will be conducted. That means the PNP will join forces, local government units, and other sectors in society. If we have the whole of the nation approach in ending the local communist armed conflict, we're going to apply the same strategy. Um, uh, kaya sabi namin sa ating mga kapulisan that uh, we have to stop owning the problem because the problem cannot be solved alone by us. Speaking on One Balita Weekend, Abalos vowed that there would be no let-up in anti-illegal drug raids and operations by law enforcement units. Authorities reportedly caught several big-time drug dealers since President Bongbong Marcos sat into office. Abalos emphasized that the current administration will focus more on the root of the problem, adding that rehabilitation will also be a key focus for the government. Tutumbukin natin ang problema on the ground sa grassroots ang barangay level. Yung gusto sa border, yung gusto magbago, andyan ang rehabilitation, tutulong tayo. Full nation approach. The Human Rights Watch said that while it agrees with emphasizing the importance of drug rehabilitation, they believe that there is no change yet with the drug campaign of the Marcus administration. For now, the promised changes in the anti-drug campaign are nothing but words for the group. Puro salita pala nito. Kasi ang tingin namin, uh, wala pang nagbabago talaga dun sa nangyayari on the ground. Kasi tuloy pa rin yung patayan eh. Uh, Siyempre, hindi kasing tindi, hindi kasing lala nung una, pero tuloy pa rin siya. Despite the new approach, the Human Rights Watch also insisted that those who died in the alleged extrajudicial killings under the Duterte admin should not be forgotten. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News. Here to give us insights on the, quote, revamp anti-drug campaign of the Marcos administration, we have with us live via Zoom, Bayan Se Secretary General Renato Reyes Jr. Good evening and welcome to The Big Story, sir. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hmm. Sir, so, so isang banda, sinabi nila revamp program, sinabi pa nga nila whole of society approach, we look at this also as a matter of rehabilitation. We, are, we will also look at the public health aspect of this. But at the same time, sabi nga nila, same fervor in going after uh, drug personalities. Are you expecting any changes? Well, first, we would like to uh, understand the premise of the uh, so-called new approach. Uh, are they doing the new approach because there was a problem with the old approach? Has there been an assessment of the uh, drug uh, anti-drug campaign for the last six years under the Duterte regime? Uh, have they audited uh, all the actions uh, by the police? Is there an admission that uh, the killings were unjustified and uh, uh, they were unacceptable and we have to stop those? Because unless you, you come to terms with the errors and the problems of the past campaign, you can't really claim that you're doing something new and you're doing a whole new approach without admitting what went wrong the previous regime. Mm. Uh, for us, the question of impunity is still a, an important uh, subject. Uh, the United Nations, the Human Rights Council of the UN took note of the lack of um, meaningful accountability in uh, achieving justice for the victims of the drug war. And uh, we do not find any clear indication uh, with the statements uh, of those you interviewed earlier, uh, if there will be accountability for all the past uh, violations huh, the, during the past six years. So, paano yun? Anong gagawin ng administration? Uh, Doon sa mga naging problema. Tapos, dito sa bagong approach, uh, ano nga ba talaga ang bago kung hindi naman nila matuntungan yung mga 
uh, criticisms ng nakaraang programa. So maraming dapat silang sagutin. Hindi po po pwedeng idaan lang tayo sa mga fancy post-nation approach which is also the same uh, philosophy used by the NTFL CAP and we know na problematic yung ginagawa nila. Hindi po pwedeng uh, you just mouth these words tapos wala kang marina or clear assessment of when, what, what, what went wrong in the past administration. Okay, uh, the PNP is fronting these numbers, 46 drug suspects killed as compared to the Duterte admins, uh, thousands uh, killed during uh, the first year of, of his term. Um, your thoughts on that and also the focus on reducing demand as opposed to, you know, looking at both supply and demand um, situations of the drug war? Well, uh, in, in the matter of, uh, is there... Uh, less killings, maybe so, but again, are the killings justified to begin with? Uh, will there be accountability if these are investigated and proven to be extrajudicial killings? Mm -hmm. uh, number two, uh, we still maintain that you have to look at the drug problem not just as a criminal justice issue, but also as a health issue. In other countries, uh, hindi patayan ang first uh, response, no? at hindi kulong ang uh, first response. And sana, uh, kung, kung interesado talaga yung administration ito to address the problem, uh, why not increase the health budget? Why not develop the health system? You can't do rehabilitation if you don't develop your own health system. Paano sasaluhin yung mga nagbibiktima at yung naging independent sa drugs? Paano sasaluhin ang sistema? So, itong mga to, hindi pa natin uh, nakikita eh. No? Doon sa kanilang mga uh, pronouncements, no? uh, paano pakikitunguhan ang mga biktima no? ng uh, paggamit ng illegal na droga. Um, hindi sapat no? yung uh, naririnig natin at uh, it might be even intended to uh, just uh, appease the international community hmm. dahil nga malakas yung criticism, may ICC complaint, may Human Rights Council statements, maybe it's intended to appease the international community but uh, substantially, will it be different? We have yet to see. Uh, you you mentioned the matter of accountability and impunity. Do you think it's possible? Is there any scenario um, where the government can address the demand side uh, problem, provide the rehabilitation, give it the attack from a public health lens, as they say, and then at the same time, basically just walk away? from questions of how the drug war has been waged um, in the past and basically leave that, leave that behind. Can there, can there be success, if not necessarily sincerity, if they succeed on one side and then turn their, their backs on the other side? But I, 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 I really doubt there will be success if we just uh, sweep the abuses of the past under the rug, uh, if we just ignore uh, calls for accountability and uh, what pretend that the uh, last six years didn't happen, that the thousands who died did not happen. We can't really uh, claim that we're doing something different if we don't come to terms with the abuses of the past. So until we see uh, policemen uh, being held accountable, uh, we are not really convinced that uh, this is a new direction. Kasi Yung, yung, yung potential na maulit yung mga abuses, nandu doon pa rin eh. So long as she look at as a criminal, criminal justice issue, uh, so long as she treat them as criminals, yung potential for abuse is always there unless you hold these people accountable for what they did in the past. Mauulit, posibleng maulit lang. We have yet to see if uh, these words will be concrete and will come to life. Maraming maraming salamat po, Bayan Secretary General Renato Reyes Jr.